Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play Left Turn Auto Rounding. This is one of the two math versions of Left Turn Auto that we have. We also have an even and odd version that you can play for free on our site. And there is the non-math version, Left Turn Auto, which is a logic puzzle arcade type game that plays very similar to this, but it doesn't have any math in it. The um, the left turn auto regular version, non-math version, is available for your Apple tablets and phones for free to download. And I'll show you where those links are in just a second, as well as where the link to the Android version that allows you to play left turn auto for free on your phone or tab Android phone or tablets. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, when you start the game, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the main menu you'll see. A two-player mode is not available in the math version. It is available in the regular version, either online or on your Android or Apple device. And you can actually get it, get the free downloads by clicking this button here, and it'll take you to the Apple Store um, or the Android version. You click this button, and it'll take you to Andro uh, the Play Store, where you can download it for free. Same thing with the one-shot mode. It tells you that it's not available in regular mode. In uh, in in the math version, I should say, and here's the links for the various stores. The <coughs> excuse me on the left turn auto regular version. There's a two-player version, and that is a lot of fun. You can play against an opponent with one device, and you do that in what we call pass to play mode, where first player tries to get as many objectives as he can on a level passes over his friend, his friend tries to get as many objectives as he can get, and it goes back and forth until the game's over, and then a comparison is made on how well each player did, and one player is awarded as being the uh, determined to be the winner. One-shot mode is, is real challenging in the fact that you have one life, and you try to see how many levels you can go, and how many points you can get, with one life, and at the end you can, when the game when you, the game ends, then you can go ahead and there's a leaderboard and you can put your uh, score up there if you like. The options allows you to turn the music up or down, or totally off like it is now. Same thing with sound effects, all the way up, all the way down, and you can adjust the sound levels at whatever level you want. Let's go ahead and turn those off, and then. The uh, math version, there's only the regular version, so let's go ahead and click that. And you have three settings, easy, medium, and hard. And basically the only difference uh, between the three are how fast that auto goes. With easy, him going the slowest, and hard going the fastest. Let's go ahead and click easy. And when you first start the game, you can only play one level. And as you complete the levels, as you complete a level, the next one will open up and you can play that one. And that will keep going until you complete all the levels. Let's go ahead, and you'll see it in a minute, because when I complete the first level, then the second level will open up, and I'll go ahead and play that after we complete the first level. Let's go ahead and click the first level, and it's showing me here that uh, the instructions, and I'm going to go ahead and skip that, since I'll be showing you how to play. Now on the screen, this is a game, this is a game board, and uh, up here on the left, it tells you what level you're on. And this is telling you to find all the numbers that round to 10. This is a pause button, which allows you to pause it. And at that point, you can uh, adjust the volume, either the music volume, the sound effects volume, or you can go to the main menu. And if you just need to take a break, you can always uh, click this button, go do whatever you need to do, come back and hit the resume, and it'll bring you back to the game. Now, here's Otto in the middle, and you control him by clicking, and if you click, he's always moving, so if you click once, he'll turn left, click again, he turns left. So if you want to do a circle, if I wanted to go right, well, Otto doesn't really know how to go light, right, so to get a right, you've got to go three left. So I click it once, he'd, he'd, be, he'd go this way, click it again, he'd move this way, click it again, and he would go this way, which is effectively right. The, uh, here's the numbers that are on the screen, and since numbers that round to 10, 16 doesn't round to 10, 12 does, so this is one that I want to get. There's also no, a lot of numbers uh, scattered off the screen that you'll need to find, and you'll see how that works out a little bit and when I get playing, but I want to show you the rest of the screen.
So here's auto x5, and that means auto times 5 that I have 5 lives to use before uh, I complete the level. I can use up to 5 lives. If I lose more than 5 lives, then, then I'll have to restart the level. And the way you lose a life is if you hit, in this particular case, I'm trying to get run numbers that round to 10. If I hit numbers that don't round to 10, like this one, I'd lose a life. If I also hit this area here, which is land, I'd also lose a life. This is the level capacity meter, or the, I guess, a number meter. You, I'm not sure whatever you'd like to call it, but it's um, it shows you how far you progress through the level. And as you get a, a correct number, it will start filling up. And then when it reaches the end, you'll have completed the level. And I'll show you how that goes. Uh, you'll you'll be able to see that as I uh, get correct numbers. And I'm going to get this first one here. So start the game. I'm going to go ahead and click once, and he'll start moving. And click them again. There's that right turn, and you notice that that meter filled up a little bit. There's another even number. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the other game. We do have an even odd version. The 14 does round to 10. Got that. And let's go ahead and hit three, which doesn't round to 10, and you'll see that I lose a life down here. And I'm clicking every time you see them change direction. There, I lost a life there. 14 again still rounds 10. This one does too. And I'll show you how the the map is continuous, meaning that, that if there's a exit off screen, it'll just put you on the other side of the map. It kind of has a wrap around on it. And looks like I need two more numbers. Both of these round to 10, so get that one, that one, and oh, I'm sorry, I need another one. I thought I it looked like I only needed two more. Let's go ahead and get this one here, and that completes that level. Now, this particular level, I'm looking for numbers that round to um, 20, and I think on this level, you're going to see some of the other uh, objects on the screen that, that will control the way auto turns. There's also axes on the uh, screen that you'll need to hit axe, uh, get an axe to chop wood. And a lot of people think that auto is a beaver and he ought to be able to gnaw through logs like that, but actually auto is an otter and he will need that axe to clear the logs. And you'll see that in, in uh, I believe, the next level, possibly this level. So I'm looking for numbers that round to 20. Both 22 and 24 round to 20. This looks like 19, but that's a tough area to get. We'll see if we can get in there, though. Yeah, that's correct. And if you get it wrong, it makes a noise and it takes away life. Makes a, a kind of a bad noise, lets you know you... Let's go ahead and get out of here. And be kind of careful because you do hit the edges. 24 rounds 20, got it. And let's go ahead and get out here and I can hopefully show you. Got here. See here's an exit here that wraps around. Let's say actually I was go ahead and go around here. I thought I was gonna hit the edge there. And this will take me on the other side of the map. There we go. Twenty I can't avoid hitting that one so I lost life. And sometimes that happens. But uh, you got plenty of lives, so that's not a big deal. But sometimes you just can't avoid getting a wrong number. So let's go ahead and go here. So we got here. Looks like I got about three numbers to get. Let's go see what's back over here. Luckily on easy mode I can do that. Okay, is it going to take me up here? That's 17 rounds to 20. Let's go ahead and pick that up. None of those other numbers do. Go ahead and exit here. Let's see. Let's see what's up here. I think we've already been through here. Let's go down. There's a number. I see 17 up there. I'll go ahead and try to get that number. See what else is up here? 
Doesn't look like I can get to that. It may be an area I have to teleport to. I'm not certain. Enter here. Gotta, gotta look around sometimes. Now this is a direction changer here, and when I hit it, now I'll go the other way. Now he's turning right. Oh, I'll have to get that one. Got it? And if I hit it again, it'll change me the other direction. So that always changes your direction, and it has a little air direction symbol on it telling you which way it'll make you go, but you can be sure it's going to be opposite of the way you're going. We get 16 and 15, and I'm thinking, okay, the game, the that level's over. Now we're looking for numbers that round to 35. I'm gonna stay away uh, thir to 30. I'm sorry, I need to stay away from 35, which is over there. Who got over here? Those, those numbers. I can hit that 34 up there. Let's go ahead and hit that. Let's stay away from the 23. 26 is okay. I think there's an axe up here somewhere. 34. Uh oh, I hit the see down when you hit the. Uh, land like that it goes it retraces your steps which is kind of cool and it takes you back to start it doesn't reset your lives or how many or how many uh, numbers you've gotten so my progress bar is there and I still have is up to where I left it and I still have four lives left so let's go ahead and get that one there's another direction changer over there something to my left there's a log and there's an axe Go ahead and hit the axe. I think it'll make that log go away. Yep, the log went away, and I can get in that area. It's not so important in the math game because you can. A lot of times you don't even need to go in those areas, but it's very important on the logic game because th there's you have to get to the home base, and you can only do that by um, you have to clear the log sometimes, you just have to do it. So there's a teleporter up there, and that'll take me to a different port part of the map. Let's go ahead and see if I can get in there a little bit. I have to be real quick here. Now it took me to a different part of the map. There's another axe. Not certain where uh, the log is, it cuts away, but uh, if I can get through here. And just cruising around looking for there's a 31 over there and let's see what we got here and you can see the power meter I call it power meter uh, capacity uh, or the level level meter there's a log I need to clear that out to get in there anyway you can see the power meter going up a little bit and see I crashed, and yet it didn't take all my progress away, which is very cool, I think. Gives you a chance to really complete all the levels. So, anyways, this is a fun game. Uh, it's, a, it's a great way to pla practice your rounding skills. We also have the even and odd game, like I uh, indicated earlier. And, of course, the regular game is a lot of fun. I, I hope you uh, hope this video has helped some. Um, hope you have fun playing the game, and thanks for watching.